the Late Show. Now, uh, folks, it is just two days before Thanksgiving, and I know a lot of you are stressed about making the meal for the family, and that's why it's so important to get accurate information on turkey preparation. All right? <laughs> you could try YouTube. Lots of how-to videos there about how to give your turkey a smoky eye. But, <laughs> of course, the gold standard, everybody knows, is the Butterball Turkey Talk Line. It is a toll-free number. Yeah. A lot of fans here tonight. A toll-free number. Yeah. You can call to speak to an expert who really knows what they're talking about. Right. Or, this year, you could talk to me. Because last weekend, I flew to the heartland of America to help Butterball out. The Late Show presents Stephen Colbert's Thanksgiving Turkey Tips. I headed to the Butterball Call Center in Naperville, Illinois, where I met Carol Miller, a 33-year Butterball veteran. Welcome. Happy Thanksgiving. You too. You too. So, uh, Carol? That's correct. What makes a good Butterball hotliner? Like, what are you looking for? Someone that has some food background. I've eaten a lot. Yeah. I've eaten a lot okay. of food. Okay. Yeah. You have to be a good listener because they're telling you a story. They're telling you what's happening in their house. And then you have I'm to sorry, be. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. What, what was the last part? They're telling you what's happening okay. in their house. You have to be a good detective sometimes. Because they might have murdered someone. No, no, no. Because you have to ask about, get more clues. Yeah, to find out if they murdered someone. No, no. You need what more a detective? Clues. I don't understand the detective part. You need more clues to be able to answer their question. What's the sh craziest question you've ever got? Sometimes they call and want to know where they can rent a turkey suit. Why do they need a turkey suit? Don't ask. I don't you ask. You don't ask. Don't ask. Role playing, maybe? Uh, I don't know. You'll be the pilgrim, I'll be the turkey? No, I'm not sure. Go get the baster? Yeah, you know the turkey handshake? I don't. I should. Like this? Like so this. You, go, you come at me like this, and then our thumbs hook from behind. All right. And you go. <laughs> got it. Yeah. What kind of. Voice should I be using? What's what's the <clears throat> what's the phone manner like? Is it like, hi, this is Steve. Yes. Uh, can I take? A yes. Call? Really? Yes. How about like, welcome to the Butterball Hotline. No. No. no? First one. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. When you're done talking and you've made them happy and you say goodbye, mm -hmm. you might want to say Happy Thanksgiving. Is it more important to have a, like a happy beginning of the phone call or should I give them a happy ending? All the way through. All the way through. Okay. Good. Keep it. Keep it. Happy, Happy all the way through. Informative. All the way through. Okay. When you're done, hotline. see the black button here. You're gonna. That's gonna get release, and then you will get another that's, call. That's the, the release is right there. Right. So after the after the happy ending, I hit the black button for the full release. That's right. Thank you. <laughs> Great. Thank you, Carol. All right. Thank thanks. you very much. Good luck. All right. Butterball hotline. Let's butter your balls. And I like it well done. How would you suggest I cook it? A uh, long time. Took it a long time. Hi, this is Carol. Welcome to the Turkey Talk Line. Hi, uh, Carol. I'm cooking my butterball turkey breast uh, with wings. And I put it in at 325. Oh, but boy. But if after uh, two hours I put aluminum foil on it. Mm hmm. Over all of it or just the thighs? There were no thighs. There were no thighs. No. What happened to the bird? Why are there no thighs? It, the, the way it was sold was the breast and the wing. You got ripped That's off. The way they sold it. You got ripped off. Somebody. Birds usually come with thighs. I apologize. Can we get a number and we're going to send you out a fresh turkey with thighs? That's not right. Oh, what do you mean? How do you do that? Well, just give me an address and we'll send you another turkey because that should have come with thighs. Most of them are grown with them. Oh, really? Uh, it's in the oven. And it's an hour less than the required cook time. Yeah, that happens and a lot. And the meat thermometer is saying it's at 188. 188? Uh, so, yes. Get out of there. I, it's going to blow. 188? There's no way you want a turkey that hot. That's what I'm saying. That's... Because I followed the time on the instructions. What's your name? So, uh, why are you asking me my name? I'm trying to calm you down. You seem like you're in a panic. Said you were a turkey expert. When they answer the phone, you're described as a turkey expert. Well, that's mostly marketing. Okay. I apologize. So, listen, Again, I apologize you for tried. the entire company. Uh, Butterball Turkey Talk Line. This is Steve. How can I help you? Oh, I hope you can. This is really a question about stuffing. If I. Okay, do you call it stuffing or dressing? I call it stuffing. Okay, wrong answer. Bye bye. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Le ligne de ding-dong? 
Je m'appelle Etienne. I speak English. Delta 359er, this is Chicago Hair Tower. I need you to go to 2,700 feet and level off on approach. Please stay in the holding pattern. We will advise. Hello? Hello. Is this Delta 359er? No, I'm calling the Butterball Turkey Hotline. Well, you've reached O'Hare Tower. We got, uh, can you please put the pilot on? What? Can you please put the pilot of the plane on? I need to talk to the pilot of the plane. You are on approach. You are on final approach to runway no, Delta 5. I'm not, I'm, no, I'm not. No. You have reached the... Ma'am, it is a federal offense to interrupt with uh, avionics or aviation. Please put the pilot on right now. You are Delta 359er on approach to O'Hare. I've got planes stacked up over O'Hare like cordwood right now. All right? I'm I, a, I'm I gonna, don't know what they're talking about. I'm going to land... I'm calling the turkey hotline, the butterball turkey hotline. Uh, can I have your name, please? No. You can't, I'm not. You can't have your name. Okay, I'm going to have to hand this over to Homeland Security if you don't give me your name. Uh, well, you can Delta, do that. Delta, I, Delta, I, 359er, Delta 359er, you are cleared to land. I'm, I'm going to call the police, all right? Well, I'm, I'm going to call the Army. Okay. I mean, if you want to get into it. I'm going to call the police. Right? You're going to call you're gonna the police right now. You're the one who's calling O'Hare. O'Hare Tower to ask about cooking a turkey, and you're calling the police? Butterball turkey top line, gobble, gobble. Hi, I had a question. I bought a turkey yesterday at um, a Target Superstore. It was in, like, the refrigerator kind of open cooler in the produce department. Oh, like those things that look like coffins? Yeah, yeah, yeah. but they're closed. But yeah. they're, I mean, they're open. They're open, exactly, exactly. Open, an open casket. Yeah, okay. So anyway, so it wasn't frozen. So my question is, and it says sell up up to like 11, November 28th. Now, is it okay to just, I brought it home and just put it in my refrigerator. Can I keep it in the refrigerator for a week or do I have to freeze it first? Or was it frozen first? Oh, so it might still be frozen and you don't know it because the inside can be frozen and you don't know it. Oh, okay. Well, maybe it's good. I mean, it's heavy, but it's 20 pounds, so. Yeah, well, when it thaws, it'll be just as heavy. Oh. Yeah, but it doesn't, it doesn't get lighter. Don't put it outside. That's the one thing I'll tell you. A lot of people okay. put their turkeys outside uh, to thaw. No, no, I want to ask you about this. I'm nervous about this turkey. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. It's all going to be fine. You're talking to a turkey expert now. Okay, well, it's all it's squishy if I squeeze it, but I, it does feel like it's pretty heavy, probably on the inside. It's not like I can move the leg, I don't think. You can't. Well, it's still in the packaging, right? Do you have a wooden spoon? Yeah. Can you just... Can you just, can you hit, can you hit it? Does it sound hard? Does it sound like a rock when you hit it with a spoon? Or does it sound like you're uh, spanking um, a lover? It's like you're spanking. You want to hear it? I do, yeah. Uh, put the phone up, too. OK, I'm just hitting it with my hand. <laughs> yeah, one more time. I didn't hear that. Yeah, that's thawed. That's thawed. Oh. That's thawed. It will last in the refrigerator the entire time. You're fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. And it even says on there to sell by 11-28, which is after Thanksgiving. So it's after Thanksgiving. Sell by 11-28. Does it say what year? 2016. Just making sure. Just making sure. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you can definitely sell it. Sell it? Yeah, you can definitely sell it. If it says you can sell by 11-28, you can legally sell that again. No, I mean, if it was in the refrigerator part of the produce department and they're, they're sitting out there so obviously they're just sitting out there as well as me this sitting in my refrigerator right it's exactly it's exactly the same thing which is why they sold it and you can sell it now too okay you're confusing me now you'll be fine as long as you don't take any of my advice and uh have a fantastic time okay you have a good thanksgiving you too bye-bye happy thanksgiving everybody